Hey YouTube, Azow's Mac here today, and I'm doing a tutorial on a great program called Clean My Mac. Um, so I've got Clean My Mac downloaded here. It is right here. I'm gonna go ahead and open it up for you guys. Today is April fifth, as you can see by my Geek Tool widget. Um, so what Clean My Mac is is it's pretty self-explanatory in its name. It is a program for cleaning your Mac. Um, it is for purchase if you I'm sure you can find it on the internet if you want to do that. I'm not telling you to do that. I'm just saying you probably can as you can find almost anything for free on the internet. So, I'm going to make it a little bigger for you guys. I'm going to go ahead and run a scan. Please configure your language preferences first. Oh. I'm going to go ahead and leave all the languages there. Uh, what that was asking me is it goes through and it'll delete any extra languages. So I, I, don't, I don't speak Japanese, so why do I have all the scripts to read Japanese or to change language into Japanese? Um, currently, I'm leaving them all there. Later, I'm probably going to uncheck all those boxes and it'll erase all of that. But so here it is. I'm doing live time. I'm not going to even cut it or anything. I'm just going to let you guys watch um, what it's doing here. And it's going through the uh, caches, logs, language files. Um, it's not going to be deleting any language files because I didn't select any. But I can deselect all of them if I wanted to. There's the choice. Um, uh, universal binaries. Oh, I'm not. Uh, okay, that's going to be PowerPC stuff, as you can see here. Um, making those things work. I don't have any of those kind of programs on my computer right now. That's why it's not finding anything. System junk. I ran a scan earlier, so it probably delete already deleted all that stuff. And then um, trashes. Um, make sure you go ahead and when you go in there, delete the tr uh, check the trashes icon, so it'll delete your trash for you. Um, application leftovers. There's always a down menu that lets you look at it. Okay, so this is going to be stuff that it's not using anymore. You can go ahead and check that. Uh, removal, make sure that all the leftover is in. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and select that. It should be fine. Um, most of the stuff this program does is not that scary. Um, I have to unlock to make sure I'm giving consent to my computer that I can do this. Oh, whoops. Sorry, guys. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and go clean. Um, if you have Safari open, um, it deletes the caches from Safari, so it's always going to say some applications should be closed. You don't really have to, uh, you don't really have to close it. I'm not going to. Maybe you should. I just ignore it. It's not that big a deal. The, uh, the program is just saying, um, I don't want something to happen, so you should probably close this. Yeah, don't worry about it. All right. Other cool stuff. Erase files. Um, it's erasing a file. I don't. I think it. I haven't used it. I usually just throw some of my trash. I think it actually erases it and it doesn't put it in your trash can. Uninstall applications. Genius, since Apple made it impossible to ins uninstall an application. I personally use an application called AppDelete, but if you don't have AppDelete, then you can use Clean My Mac. I think Clean My Mac is a dollar ninety nine still. Okay, uh, manage extensions. If you have extensions, like I have um, uh, Delicious Library and iStat Pro, like as you can see over here, I've got iStat Pro running here. Uh, this lets you manage them and delete probably some of their caches. I don't know. Oh, let's delete them because uh, deleting extensions is kind of hard. Yeah, it's an uninstall, um, which makes this way easier because uninstalling extensions is, was actually a big hassle. Anyway, there's a quick overview of the other features it has down here. The manages, managing extensions, excuse me, uninstall applications and quick erase files, all really, really handy. Um, I kind of went through all these. You can choose what you want to delete, so if there's something that you know you don't want to delete, then uh, you can keep it. Um, 
language files, as I said, they're over here. I can un I can choose some of those. Um, system log files. I didn't even find any, so that wasn't a big deal. Um, it use it got all my user cache files. That's uh like history and stuff like that. And then my Mac, my Mac, I saved 23.772 megabytes. And as I said, I scanned twice earlier today, and uh, I got almost a, or more than a half a gig. I got 627 megabytes, and uh, I think that's really successful. I mean, that is a a fair amount of memory saved. So that's really great. So this is clean my Mac. Uh, this is Azao's Mac signing off. As you can see, I've been using Geek Tool. Um, in the future, I might make a video on how to do that. Uh, some of it is, uh, generally speaking, Geek Tool is a easy program to use. If you guys are interested in how to do it, I'll make really simple tutorials on how to do it. Uh, give me a comment, send me a message, ask me you've how you've tried to do it, but you can't figure it out anyway. Uh, comment, rate, and subscribe. Um, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.